I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Paris for COP21. I'm really delighted to be joined by Tara Deport. She's the founder and executive director of the Human Impact Institute. So tell me, what's your message here at COP? Um, our message is that really no matter whether we're on the policy side or the, we're artists in the street, that we all have a role to play in addressing climate change and that we can really get creative on inspiring people to get engaged and to find how they can use their passions to really apply it to climate solutions. So how do you use art in climate solutions? Um, well, we work a lot. One of our ideas is that in order to get people to care and to really get them even from caring to doing something about it, is we need to find out what you care about. And mm -hmm. we need to make it personal. We need to make the issues of climate and the solutions personal to each of us. Mm -hmm. And so we work a lot with artists and creative people because they are masters of inspiration. Mm -hmm. They know how to do it. And we combine them and get them to try to take those tools of inspiration of whether it's painting or dancing or music mm -hmm. and to actually pair it with real tangible solutions. Because it's great to be inspired and to feel moved, but if that doesn't actually get to reducing our emissions mm -hmm. or to you know building better cities, mm -hmm. then then it's, it's not being used well. Mm -hmm. um, so we do a lot in New York City okay. on that. We have something called the Creative Climate Awards. We do every year. And we've been really lucky to be sponsored by the Taiwanese um, equivalent of embassy in New York mm -hmm. and have two floors on 42nd Street mm -hmm. for a whole month mm -hmm. to really uh, show people's work that they're, they're doing to inspire people on climate through the arts. So what's what, can you give me an example of one of the paintings or one of the projects that you've seen? Sure. One of my favorite ones, again, um, so we, we have these art art exhibits, etc. But but then we always have educators as well along mm -hmm. the lines that are giving actions that each of us can take right there. An example that I loved was we did a pop-up um, performance. We've done many. Every year we go to Times Square because mm -hmm. there's so many people that, that aren't there to talk about climate right. change. You know, <laughs> They're there for many other reasons and right. usually to buy stuff. Right. Um, and we had this, this woman who um, created a kimono of mirrors. And the idea was, in order to think about climate change, we need to think about ourselves and mm -hmm. our personal impacts, and we need to look at ourselves deeper. Right. And so she was there, and you can imagine in Times Square, if you see someone kneeling in a kimono of mirrors, you stop and yeah. you wonder why. Um, and then we had educators and interpreters on board to say, to start that climate conversation and then to give them actions they could take right there okay. while they're feeling open and inspired. Right, and what were the actions that they could take right there? Some of the actions for people that were local were to mm -hmm. transition their, where they get their energy from. Mm -hmm. uh, others were, we do a big campaign about getting stores to close their doors when right. their AC is on, you know, right. which is an actual policy that exists in New York, right. but isn't being implemented on the ground. Right. Um, so others was to sign a pledge, other was to get engaged on a more longer term. So we try to really have a, a usually three options of solutions. Mm -hmm. One is kind of if people that want to do the click or right. the sign the petition right. or give a little money. And right. then there's the, the more engaged version of mm -hmm. actually transitioning something. And then there's like signing up to be a volunteer and to come mm -hmm. help us take care of trees and to, mm -hmm. to, or to mentor another youth on learning about how to take climate action. So those are some of the things. Amazing. Tara, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Paris. And I'm Edie Lush.